How's it going everybody? It's Stuart from Finish Line Factory. We are here in the Finish Line Factory uh, Secret, Technology Center. Secret Technology Center, the Skunk Works. Uh, David's cleaning out a drain pan right now. Um, Lord knows what's in that drain pan. So as far as what we're doing today, uh, dreams. we got the FLF Turbo Miata behind us and we're going to be swapping out the fans that are on our radiator because the fans we have right now are 900 CFM and they're just not cooling the Miata enough. Uh, we sit and we idle for a while, car gets hot. We get on it, car gets hot. So we bought a set of Spall 1300 CFM fans that we're going to swap on to the radiator and hopefully that helps us out a little bit. Uh, we're gonna vlog kind of the process of doing this. We'll see what happens, won't we? Any words? It's gonna be great. It's not gonna be great. It's gonna be a pain. By the way, I only have my hair tied back. I haven't cut my hair, don't worry. The fro is still, still good. But the zip tie's holding it. Yeah, there's the fro. The fro's all back there. You know ladies love the fro. So uh, right now David's removing the shroud so that we can get at the petcock to drain our radiator out here. And once we get the radiator drained, we'll remove it. I wonder if there's another way to do this. Pull the fans. There's probably another way to do it, but we don't know about it. Ugh, I don't wanna remove the shroud. Because we have a nice brand new shroud on it. It's not that. It's I don't want to take it off because there's like a fucking 17 million bolts that hold the thing mm -hmm. on. As with every shroud. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to drain the radiator. We're going to remove the radiator. Remove the fan shroud. Remove the fans. Put the new I fans on the shroud. Put the shroud back on. Radiator back in. Drop some coolant back in it. And then maybe go take it for a test run. Yeah, we do that. I want to see if I can just take the fan shroud off without having to, without having to remove the whole radiator. That's what I said. Yeah, I know. But, but we think it's going to be a little bit of a pain, but uh, who knows? That advanced technique. Oh, baby. That's the man with hands like a Chinese seamstress. <laughs> Where? It's on the tray. <laughs> it couldn't even have the common decency to fall on the ground. <laughs> it's like that moment when you're listening for it to hit the ground. You're just like, please hit the ground. Please hit the ground. You get? Yes. No. no. Oh, come on, baby. <laughs> Start jamming it in there. Nothing. Ah. Uh, Proceeds to drop the extension and the hex driver. No, it's just the hex is fallen and I just don't know where it's gone. I've fallen and I can't get up. Basically. Yeah. Thanks, Stuart. You're welcome. It's not your fault. It's kind of my fault. It's your fault for having butterfingers. That, ooh, red painted valve cover. Look at that. I got it. Hey! Is this our Beijing blower? Uh, that is the... Nagasaki Noisemaker? That is the Nagasaki Noisemaker? I, I, I think it's a, a Chinese choo-choo. No, that's the Taiwan Tai Bomb. <laughs> <laughs> Taiwan Tai Bomb. You like that one? <laughs> okay, that's good. I, I'll, I'll give you that. We should put them thangs on this car. Some 20s? No, like 28s. Oh, this isn't a Chevy Caprice. 28-inch <laughs> Corleone's. Have them thangs on it. 20s are still just wheels, or rims, or chromies. 20s are stock. Once, once you get into like 23, 24, that's when you hit them thangs. So what about the 22s in my Tahoe? Well, those are them thangs, just for the pure. Period correct thangs? Period correct thangs. All right then. And, and, and the only song you can play is uh, Lil John's Get Low. Why? Because it fits with the era. It's that whole like Need for Speed Underground 2 thing. Oh, okay. So imagine we go to the drag strip. Do you just drop another bolt? No, I dropped a nut again. The uh, the bit. Did you bust a nut? Always. Hmm. 
What about this side? Oh, this side doesn't even have that. It's just straight up just... Okay, then. I like how they tried, but then the... I like how they tried over there, and they actually, like, wired this into the factory harness. But then over here, they didn't even give a shit. They just... There we go. We're done. We're, this is the temperature sensor for it, right? No, that's the uh, the wire. That's powers. Oh, the that's the fan power. Okay. Yeah. So we're just gonna. <laughs> we don't need that. Oh. Oh. oh, did you just snip yourself? Uh, pretty hard, yes. Oh shit. That's not good. Update. Dave has mutilated himself. I thought he shocked himself first, and I was about to say, "Oh, you idiot." And, uh, he just... <laughs> it's not funny. He just cut his finger open with a pair of very sharp scissors. Yes, those are very sharp. That's my vibe. Paper towels and electrical tape. I'm gonna feel this in the morning. Ooh, it's dripping. You're gonna feel everything in the morning. Put some zip ties on it. Do, do you have electrical tape? I can't ever find my electrical tape because the electrical tape is black and everything in my toolbox is black. Yeah. I snipped it pretty gnarly. Did you, did you catch me snipping it? Yes, I did. Oh, thanks. That's some, uh, that's some pretty good work there. Yeah. Don't go near fingers with your scissors. Again? Uh. Pain is weakness leaving the body. We don't tolerate weakness at Finish Line Factory. Listen, you don't make company policy, okay? <laughs> Three, two, one. Radiator piping. Oh. Nice. I'm not gonna do anything. Just kind of go down there and position it where you see water. Right there. This was the plan all along. Yeah. Pull the pull the radiator fans out. Uh, okay, I'm gonna have to stop the camera for that. Yeah. So. So these are our new small 1300 CFM fans. Very, very nice little fans. Now. Hmm. Oh, you know what? The Mishimoto fans. Mm -hmm. Check this out. The Mishimoto fans have these little things here. Mm -hmm. They have the same clips on here. Oh, would you look so at I that? So I can just, I can literally just directly replace, which is good. I wouldn't, because I was thinking, I was almost considering mounting them directly to the radiator. Mm -hmm. Right, with the, the zip tie thing kit. Yeah. But I don't like doing that, because it kind of messes up the radiator fins a little bit. Yeah. Um, when you have fins that go across like this, it's not as bad. But when you have fins that go straight down, it's kind of bad. Right. So, so we're talking about these tabs right here. Let's go ahead and remove this. I'll be right back. Okay. How's your finger feeling? Awful. I mean, I guess. So we got one off. Let me take a look at these. Yeah, the the holes here are slightly bigger than the small fan holes. Is that something that we could maybe solve with like a uh, a nail file or something? So what makes these fans better than the Mishimoto ones or more um, efficient? It's the is it the design fan. of the blades? It's the design of the blades. It's the um, the fan output, right? The uh, the output of the motor. Mm -hmm. uh, having a more powerful motor allows you to move more air because yeah. you can you know force that air to turn. A uh, bunch of stuff. So let me see here. They don't quite go in. I'm assuming that could be solved with. Oh, I know why they don't quite go in. Uh, it's because these edges here don't fit around um hmm. so you're saying if i could just cut down the edges i think if we cut the edges here i think if we cut those off we might be able to um it's a good start hey cool. hey look at that good but, call no what I don't think they're gonna line up. Cause you see here, that hole lines up, but no, this one doesn't. Yeah. Wait, if you rotate it around doesn't help. a center line. No, these fans are physically smaller. Look, these are really more like 11 inch fans. These are 12 inch fans. Yeah. Mishimoto, you know what? 
Ooh. Look at that. So this is a 12 inch fan? Yeah. It doesn't fit. Actually, if you look at the size of the hole, mm -hmm. notice how... The... Oh, it's getting blocked by the... Sh yeah, so it's look partially blocked it's off. It's getting blocked by the shroud. Yeah. Oh, no. I might as well just hook it up directly to the... To the fit, to the yeah, radiator. to the radiator, and forego the shroud. Let's so, uh, let's go mock that. Look at that, perfect fit. <laughs> so now we just gotta remove the entire radiator then. Oh. Uh, we need to run the auto zone. Oh, uh, because we gotta get coolant. Yeah. Do we want to run in my car? We can take. Uh, yeah, we can take the car. All right. Yeah, because uh, my car's go. my car's available and it's out front. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, at least remove the radiator first. Okay. You know, one of these days. Yeah. We won't be doing this in a single car garage. We'll be doing this in a nice, well-lit, ventilated air uh, warehouse with lots of tools and... Well, if our amazing dealers and customers continue to buy finished and factory products, we might actually be able to work on cars in a two-car garage. Thanks to hard work and dedication. Exactly. <laughs> no, but that's right. I mean, if we... As long as our absolutely fantastic customers and dealers uh, keep supporting us as they have so diligently over the years. We'll be doing this in a uh, nice little warehouse someday. All our products behind us. That's the plan. Yeah, that'll be nice. Do this, see if we can get it in upside down. Sometimes you gotta do that, you know? Of course, I'm. notice that piece of metal that's right by my wrist. Yes. You can't turn the ratchet because of that piece of metal. <laughs> well, I'm trying to avoid slashing my wrist too. Do they have armored wrists on them? They cover the wrists. That's on the wrong hand. <laughs> Thank you, Stuart. <laughs> I would have realized this on my own eventually. <laughs> oh! Son of a... Oh. Did you bang your... David! Welcome to uh, the Finish Line Factory show. David hurts himself today. Episode, what are we, 290? Something like that. <laughs> I've caught every time you've hurt yourself today. There's nothing wrong with getting some... Oh, there we go, look at that. You see that? Hey! Look Let's at just that. make sure that the drain pan yeah. is positioned. And... Yes! So, explain, you're just zip-tying the hoses out of the way? Yeah. And All right, and radiator's free. Radiator's free. Look at that. Oh. Yeah. Nice. All right, guys, so Stuart's off to work his regular job. I'm going to continue working on the Miata. So um, I don't really like trying to work and vlog at the same time, simply because, like, it's tedious enough doing the work, but to have to work, stop, vlog in a one-car garage, it was great to have Stuart with us to help us out, but, well, I'm going to end the vlog here. So thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. See ya. Bye.